Alright, hey everyone, and welcome back to exercise 4. Um, this one is also very simple. Um, it is simply... Write a function validate. That takes an integer and returns a boolean. That indicates whether an integer could be a valid credit card number. This will use all functions defined in the previous exercises. Okay, so it seems like it's high time to actually read this thing. Um, okay, so the validation algorithm for credit cards follows these steps. Doubles the value of every second digit beginning from the right, adds the digits up, and calculate the remainder when the sum is divided by 10. For example, the above remainder will be 8. If the result equals 0, then the number is valid. Um, okay, so, first thing we need to do is separate our n into digits. Okay, so once we have the digits, I need to double the value every, of every second digit. And next I need to add the digits. Let me get rid of my I guess I'll, I'll leave my fold L1 of plus implementation. Um, let me just double check. Okay, so all I need to do is sum this. And calculate the remainder when the sum is divided by 10. So, um, if the remainder is true, or sorry, if the remainder is zero, then the number is valid. Okay, and this thing compiles, so let's try it out. Oops, um, let's try grabbing the sample number. False. Oh, that didn't work. Did I do this right? What? I'm not sure this PDF is even right, so I'm going to do this by hand. Two digits, this thing. Yeah. Let me read this over one more time. Double the value of every second digit. Okay. It refers to the results of the last call, by the way, in GHCI. Add them up. And then, obviously, that remainder is five. Okay, so I guess unless I'm completely wrong about something somewhere maybe if you see what I'm doing wrong leave it in a comment but it seems to me like um, this is just wrong um, okay well anyways I tried um, 
But let's try cleaning this function up. So first of all, if you find yourself writing something that looks like this, if something, if condition then true, else false, well that's of course the same thing as just the condition itself. And um it seems like I can leave if I leave the mod ten. Um the end like uh, you know if my if you know foo mod 10 equals 0 then I can cleanly express foo in point free notation because it's just a series of transformations on my um, on my argument and those transformations are the digits, oops, sorry, just two digits, followed by double every other, followed by some digits. Um, what am I missing here? There we go, sorry. That took a bit of thinking, it's late. Okay, so, get rid of these parentheses. Um, and, I shouldn't call it foo, that was just kind of a placeholder. Um, let's call it transform. All right, so there you have it. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.